Heroes, it's that time again! Silver Company, the maker of the world's greatest silver swords, brings you Roll Die for Murder, a weekly Dungeons and Dragons adventure where six friends get together to drink and pillage anything that gets in their way. Tonight's players are... Kirk, playing Ming Mang! Hyper Luckfinger, me, Arn, Hyper Luckfinger, the gnome? <laughs> Thoris, no. <laughs> oh. And Shannon playing Armida, the scrappy of the clan Benwin. Uh, Steve here playing Tyrus Arango, the half elven bard. Sonia playing Zahara von Darkbane. And Nick as your dungeon master. Did you say Oronghole? Oh, wrong hole. Oh, wrong, oh, wrong hole. Well, as I have, as I have said in, in a previous installment, being a half-elven bard requires a certain sort of open-mindedness. So perhaps, depending on the occasion. Anybody remember where we were? It's been uh, quite a while. All right. We were hired by somebody to go do something. <laughs> <laughs> and we found two dead horses in the roadway, which led us to... Find who was shooting arrows at us. Goblins! 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 Uh, I asked them to be nice, and they basically said F off. And after killing them and killing two in the tree, uh, we realized there was a cave where our the people that hired us were probably being held prisoner. So I know I ran up there and saw two wolves chained up, and you all were hanging back, diddling yourselves or something. She turned us into murder hobos. I specifically recall driving the cart to the mouth of the cave. (laughs) Yeah. I'm surprised it didn't get stuck. You must have used some really good lube. I think I rolled very well for my driving. Yeah, you got a 19 on your drive check for handle animals. I've listened to it like eight times. (laughs) All right, let's, let's begin. Just inside the cave mouth. A few uneven stone steps lead up to the small, dank chamber on the east side of the passage. The cave narrows to a steep fissure on the far end and is filled with a stench of animals. Savage snarls and the sounds of rattling chains greet your ears, where three wolves are chained up just inside the opening. Each wolf's chains leads to an iron rod driven into the base of a stalagmite. Mita is waiting for everyone to join her to decide what to do with these wolves. What are we going to do with these wolves? My friends, does anyone have any way of, uh, by chance, uh, befriending wolves or, or perhaps enchanting them? I would hate to have to kill them simply because they're in our way. I don't want to kill them. They're super cute. Well, that's my point exactly. I have animal handling, I but... bet they'd make great boots. Yeah, I think so, too. I suppose if we do have to kill them, we should probably, you know, put them to good use. It's too bad we don't have a leather worker. That's Uh, not me. Note note to the the, the DM, I was talked out of having leather working (laughs) as my craft in the day. I just want that noted. It would have totally justified killing these wolves (laughs) in cold blood. But now I'm back in character. (laughs) We could skin them and take the pelts with us to a leather worker. And leave them alive. No. Why would we do that? So we can make money. I don't. I don't want to kill them, but if we have to, we might as well put them to good use. I believe that every every living thing has a soul. Can I? What do I have to roll for <laughs> animal? Wait. <laughs> so is my plus two on wisdom? Is it another plus two animal handling, or is it just one plus two? Does anyone know? Uh, I am not the one yeah. to ask, but I was just so, about to ask myself if we were to make so some kind of intuition check. What do we do for that? Plus two, plus two for wisdom, and your intuition is wisdom. So you know, and maybe uh, maybe there's something here we're so not seeing. Plus four. Oh, okay. Can I try to calm so the wolves? Oh, this is with animal great. handling. Yeah, try to calm them down. You try. Yeah. try it. Just try it, please. <laughs> They're probably about ten times my size. I'm going to knock an arrow into my brand new Hi, authentic I'm three, goblin I'm three feet bow. tall. Can you, uh, can you please calm down? What's in my rations? Do I have any meat? Dried meat? Sure. 
Okay, I would yeah. like to take some of the meat out of my rations and try to calm the wolves down and make friends with them. Oh, How many God. rations do you have? Like one? One. Oh. Who's the tallest <laughs> one here? I'm going to hide behind them. Is it Sonia? I Zahora? I rolled I'm a hide, 19. I'm hiding behind Zahara. I Does rolled it, a 19, guys. Doesn't music soothe the savage beast? Sing us a song. Why don't you get up there and play your flute? Uh, note to uh, note to the crew talking outside of character. I was actually just looking at up. See, yeah, could my charm... I have a charm person spell. I don't know if that would quite work for animals, though. I was just about to look that up. Mm. Or maybe GM needs to make that ruling. I, Traditionally, I, it would be a charm animal. Ah, see, I, I am lacking of that ability. At least at this time. Of course, who knows? Maybe your spell works that way. Well, in the efforts of uh, trying to find a non-violent uh, peaceful resolution, no, I... I already rolled. <laughs> no, try it. You guys can both try the same, like, two different things. If that is the case, I will bring out my loot, run my hands through my wavy, curly hair. Holy shit, this is a whole production. <laughs> One does not simply flick uh, your hey, fling out his, his loot and just start strumming. Hey, what do you want? Why don't you go do a little dance over there? No, I'm hiding. <laughs> uh, GM and the experts at the table, what do I need to roll as far as uh, playing my, uh, my, my instrument? There's, I'm assuming it's a skill. I'm just Performance? Yep, it's performance. Yeah, play instrument. So <laughs> you have so many play instrument skills, so many proficiencies. And you're I proficient. do, in fact. So you would roll um, whatever the base attribute is plus two, which is your base proficiency. So probably charisma, but I don't know that for sure. Uh, let's see. Section two. Performance. Uh... It's not performance. It's play. Yeah, I think it's a specific skill, I mean, uh, which is not in my... Oh, a bard who doesn't have the skills to play an instrument. Well, I'm sure I do. I just didn't write them down correctly. As mentioned, I uh, as as I stated in my my last episode, as I know nothing of the uh, 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 D and D setup for more than twenty years now, I am relying on the experts to teach me, as this is supposed to be a beginner's podcast anyway. And that so, way, we all get to learn. Did you do a perception check or? Uh... Nope, I just started throwing food at him. Somebody else want to give me one? It'd be charisma. Your charisma I'll bonus give him plus one. two. Charisma bonus plus two. Ah, so my charisma 11. bonus plus two. Here we go. Charisma is what I am all about. So I again, I will begin trying to play a a happy, light-hearted melody to soothe the savage beast. Seventeen. Altogether, it would be a twenty-three. Ooh. Nice. They uh they don't appreciate your cover of Candlebox very much, <laughs> and um, <laughs> they eat your food and that's pretty much all they hear. And they're still they look like they've been starving, Aww. so that little bit of food you gave them just pisses them off even worse. And well, you rolled a seventeen on your perception check, so the cave does go down further, like following the the uh, the, the the creek down through the cave away like past this part past this hole okay. we can't get by the wolves without taking them out right so perhaps I'm there is a Here, um, perhaps there is another way in the creek still goes north and you are looking to your right and there's a opening with the caves with the wolves in it so we can look for another opening up the you can creek? Still, yep. For those that are following the podcast, we're looking at a map on page nine. Well, I would rather not kill the wolves, so I will go Instead, up we'll kill all their owners so they can starve to death here, chained to the cave. They seem pretty unhappy, but I'd like to look for another opening before we murder them. I agree. Yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I, I don't mean, want to kill they're poor such beautiful wolves. animals. So our meat is going to run up the stream and keep an eye out for another opening. And I will follow close on our heels. And crossbow. You're running. Ready. Yes. Oh God! All right. <laughs> you know you're not she supposed to run everywhere. from a dog. 
It's not good. They think you're. I feel like I said no, but I already had in my head. I was running up the stream. <laughs> Wolves are dogs, and dogs don't like They're you to run from They're chained up. I got my crossbow out at the ready. Give me a perception check while you run. Is there a disadvantage to that, or just do it? Do you have uh, dark vision? I think so. You're a gnome. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so um. Perception four, so I got twenty-two. Okay. So you see a cavern leading on your left, but you see movement in front of you on a walkway over the river. Okay, I'm gonna stop and try and find out what that movement is. Can't see. It's gone. It was just pretty fast. Okay. Well, who's with me? Oh, I was yeah. right on your heels. Should we let them? Should we let them know that there's another opening, or should we go back and murder the wolves? Let them know. I agree. They should be in the know. Leave the wolves be, as there is no way to free them without providing harm upon ourselves. Can you guys see us? Because we could just like. I see you. Can we simply Come wave here. at Hello. the others? Come here. I see you. I'm coming. Come here. I got little legs. Leave me alone. <laughs> Let's Everyone, I mean, than mine. I, I have, I, I have something I would like to show you all. Uh oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> that should send him running. The opposite way. Obviously, you haven't seen it yet, or have you? I'll keep pace with Meng while he heads towards the rest of the group. As you guys are slowly walking <laughs> up the the water, there's a loud cacophonous noise of just. Thousands of gallons of water rushing towards you. Uh oh. I hope you all can swim. Uh oh. That's not good. Is there land I we can get on, and or are we? Just the opening on the floor. I like, quickly like jump on Zahara's back. I want to jump towards the opening. I will follow in suit. It looks much safer in the uh, the opening than it does out here. I <laughs> Me, not, my friend. That's not very fun. All right, we've got our first combat. I will slit your throat in your sleep! Alright, strength versus dexterity. Go! No, I'm not kidding. Go. <laughs> yes. It's strength versus dexterity. Oh, he That's is trying cool. to stay on by brute force while she is oh, trying to... Oh, those two. Or no, I'm she like, is what trying am I to... Doing? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, barely. She shrugs you off. Like an annoying kid brother. Get up, me! You suck! And you guys are still in the water, though? I dove for the opening. You dove? I oh, would. absolutely. Yeah. I would have dove as well. Opening. Probably well. Nope, I can't, I can't now. You're yeah, you had prone. to fight me and try to throw me off instead of just jumping in the hole. You are prone from the ground. Yeah, I'm drown. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure you can miss fight. You make it. Well, we're all better going forward. <laughs> I suspect I am trained on that recheck. You better be. It anyway, matter. Being I as, my being as anyway. entertainer and bard is my thing. I rolled an 18 I for athletics to do whatever I need to do to get away from the rushing water sound coming towards us. It's probably just a... Don't worry. In my expert opinion, it's just an auditory illusion. In the shadows of the ceiling to the north, you can just make out the dim shape of a rickety bridge to the, of wood and rope crossing over the passage ahead of you. Another passage intersects one, this one, 20 feet above the floor. Okay, we passed that part. Okay. <laughs> He's starting to play a song. I want to believe. Mulder and Scully come out from the shadows. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys head up in the passage. This large cave is divided into half by 10 foot high escarpment. A steep natural staircase leads from the lower portion to the upper ledge. The air is hazy with the smoke of firing or of cooking fire and pungent from the smell of poorly cured hides and unwashed goblins. Uh, can we do a perception to see if they're still hanging around? Mm -hmm. I got a 15. Four 
17. 11. 22. Show off. 9. You are a perceptive gnome. They're to your left. You can hear them like... <laughs> talking in like weird goblin language. Like they're not aware that we're in the cave. They don't know you're there yet. I don't speak goblin. Nor do I. Well, from experience outside, I know they won't let us talk to them, so if I can see any of them, I'd like to shoot. <laughs> Murder hobo! Wait! Murder! I'm going to hide okay. in the shadows. Give me a roll for initiative, please. Any bonus to add to that? Nope. Just, Just your initiative bonus that's on there. Dexterity. It's on the top, yeah. 18. Yep. 20. So you probably have a four, right? I, in fact, I do. Yep. Three. I mean, ten. Uh, ten. With my natural 18, that would be a 22 altogether. All right. So, Steve, you're up. Well, I happen to be armed with a hand crossbow, but do am I going to require perception to see where the, this is coming from first? or You're a human? Uh, half elf. Half elf. So, so you have half to, human. You have night vision or uh, dark vision? I have right? a, yes, I do have dark vision. Okay. So I see everything in shades of gray. Yep. So you're Rather fine. fitting, wouldn't you say? So you're good. Should be fine. Uh, I will look at the... Uh, in, in the attempt of disordering the enemy before they have a chance to respond, I will fire! Do we actually my, see them? Or just smell we them? We see them, we yeah. just smell them. In, or in, I mean, unless we can see them in the dark is what I'm... You just, can see them in the dark, because you have night vision or dark vision. Otherwise, so they're just, you cannot. Got it. Here we go. There's six of them. And memory serves uh, hand crossbows a precision weapon, so I add in dexterity bonus. Yeah. I'm starting to learn. We're getting there. All right, so I will uh, I will fire and, uh, and 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 hope my precision is everything I expect it to be. And then he rolls a natural one. Obviously, I was unprepared for these moments. He shoots himself in the he foot. Got, he got nervous. <laughs> I'm obviously a lover, not the fighter. Shannon? I'm just going to shoot my crossbow. What? Uh, 15. 15. Okay. Eight. Three plus three. Six damage. I'm probably shooting whoever's closest to me. <laughs> There's somebody here! No! <laughs> How far away are they? Forty feet? So I can't even hit them anyway. There's six? You got talent, so you, you have an arsenal available. Ooh, I killed one? No. Damn it. <laughs> so it's basically five squares? Yes. So did you move up or you stay in there? All right, what's your speed? 25 feet. Uh, Roughly five squares. We're going to go with five feet per square. To answer your question, I'm staying where I'm at if I can shoot. Although I'm facing backwards, so that seems about right. Okay, so... Uh, one, Good. three, five. All right. I'm going to attack the goblin. I don't want to get sued by the McElroy, so please say goblin. goblin? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not going to sue us. They don't seem like they're sue hugging. There's no such thing as bad publicity these days, <laughs> so even a lawsuit would bring attention to the uh, podcast. I'm going to stab it. So, okay. 16, 19 to hit. Yep. Four damage. And then I'm going to kick it. With my karate kick. Are you Take him down. Enough? He's dead? He's dead. Oh. I guess I don't have to use my next action. Oh, you moved up? Yeah. Oh. He is a fighter. Where was I? You're here. <laughs> right there, the guy with the mace. <laughs> well done, my diminutive friend. Oh, first kill. Very nice. Okay. And uh, you see a human on the ground. <laughs> that they're all like... Guys, there's a human body over here. Is it Did a... you just go from German to Scottish? <laughs> <laughs> it happens. <laughs> I haven't figured out my answer yet. I haven't figured it out. <laughs> Can we tell this if epi- the human is dead or alive? It's episode two. I haven't figured he's, out my accent yet. He's bloody. He's bruised up. Shoot. All right. So, <laughs> Arn, do you know what you're going to do? Hey, assholes. Thanks for giving me a heads up so I can hide. To utilize my roguish talents. There's supposed to be stalactites in here, but I just don't have anything for those. <laughs> um, it's all right, bro. You got a crap I mean, just let me hide before you start rolling initiative. 
We could uh, use those. I'm just going to shoot at this one back here. Shit at that it's one? Range. You're going to shit so, it? Because that'll be these. You want to throw these? Just chuck them. Stalactites. There you go. <laughs> Stalactites. Nice. <laughs> so I'm using a short of course, bow. Is, at least we're good. That has a range of 80 feet. Okay. I'm, I'm well within. Um, now, the, those who use the hand crossbow... Keep yes, a, that would be mind me. mind that you've got a six square range. Oh, then I should have moved. Otherwise, it's harder. I don't know That's how much what harder. She but... said. So yeah, so I'm gonna take an arrow shot here. Eleven. Eleven to hit. Yes. No. <laughs> nice shot. If I would have been hidden, I would have gotten to roll two dice. So if it's harder, does that just mean it's a disadvantage for us, or is? Um, I'll look it up. Thank you. But you can move on your turn. But, but please explain to it to us once you've looked it up. But I will not need it this action, for I feel it is a perfect time to uh, assist my beloved patron. And I will use, uh, I, I believe it is time for me to learn how to use my bardic influence. So you want to go first? Yes. I'm going to use my guiding bolt. Okay. You don't have a crossbow yet. No, I don't. Okay, so how are you going to use a guiding bolt? Oh, maybe, that might have been my fault. I thought it was a. Uh, I thought you I thought did it was have like a crossbow. A spell. Oh, so I have to have. A it's crossbow? they're fucking expensive. <laughs> uh, okay, as I'm reading it here, it doesn't seem like it's a crossbow related thing. It's a flash of light oh. streaks towards a creature of your choice within range, and the range is 120 feet. Make oh. a range spell attack That's against awesome. the target. On a hit, the target takes 4d6 radiant damage, and the next attack roll made against this creature before the end of your next turn has advantage, thanks to the mystical dim light glittering on the target until then. He would shine like a beacon in this cave, mm-hmm. so I don't see right. that as a crossbow-related thing. All right. As this far seems as... like a perfect spell to use, given our circumstance. Yep. Well, Plus. Plus what? My strength? Plus. Dex. Dex. Dexterity. Well. Twelve. Are you proficient in the weapon? Is it a weapon? It's a spell. It's a spell. It's a spell. Oh, okay. And you miss. There's a spells are different though. They have a spell attack bonus, which is your proficiency bonus plus uh, wisdom, probably. So two plus whatever your wisdom bonus is, so not dexterity. Don't miss. Oh. Unfortunate. Yeah, spell attacks have their own. She just a little spark. Their own thing. Yep, and you, you guys all go blind because it's so bright. <laughs> Now you're all negative. Disadvantage. <laughs> okay, so here's how range works. So range, for example, with a hand crossbow, the range is 30 slash 120. So anything within 30 feet, you would roll normally. But anything between 30 and 120 feet, you have a disadvantage, meaning you roll two dice and take the lowest. Ah. Anything over 120 feet is no, you can't hit it. It's so, beyond the range. And of if ability. we're using the map... Um, it's easy to count these squares as five, so you'd have a six square range. This is good to know. Four, five, six. Thank you for clarifying. This is why, yeah, uh, this is why. I, I choose my ranged weapons not only on damage, but on range. That is a brilliant, uh, uh, that, that's brilliant. I didn't have any. Well, actually, I did. <laughs> I bought, I, I had a sling, because they're very, very inexpensive. Well, I guess the goblins should probably go, huh? No. Perhaps. No. no, no. I would like to think the guiding bolt blinded them all too much to uh, to respond, but that's just me. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> but I'm not pro player, so here we go. <laughs> Even if they're surprised, they get to go on their turn. Well, oh, that's it is idea. unfortunate. Not even a disadvantage. Is it in the spell description? No, it's not. Not not quite that. That that's just me talking. Uh, so two of them are not surprised, and they're going to attack the rest of them. They're all like, uh-huh. right? All right. So the front one and the other one that's the gnome or the dwarf, right? Yep. They're going to take their crossbows out and fire them at the first two. So the little people in the front or the little person right there. This guy right here? Yep. 11 to hit. No. How about 14? Yes. I'm going to to use my athletics to get out of the way. That would be more acrobatics. Wait, what are you Still doing? Still a good one. <laughs> what are you What are you trying to do that for? Dodge? You don't yeah, get so to dodge. It, so it hits somebody else. <laughs> that, that's just your armor class. Five damage. Ouch. 
your armor class counts that kind of stuff. Is it your dexterity bonus? Counts how dodgy and swift and it's all implied, is what you're saying. Boy, five hit points is just about whack me. Start it up, Orongo. Well, as mentioned, I feel it is best to uh, to aid my uh, Ada Zahara, my beloved patron, in uh, in making her next uh, spell a uh, a more successful attempt. So I am going to cast my Bardic Inspiration. Yeah, uh, encouraging her to uh, you know, aim true on her uh, you know, with with her next uh, next guiding bolt. I don't think I, from what I'm reading, I don't think I need to roll on that. I think it just happens. Yeah, I don't think you have to roll for Bardic Inspiration. And how that works is when, after she rolls her die, she can choose to add an extra d6 to the roll, if necessary, during the next ten minutes. So I have her I have her back with some inspiration. Is it just one person? Or is it it's, party? Yeah, it's just one person. I think when I go higher level, I what can do multiple. shit? Yeah, you can inspire... Yeah, um, that sucks. Yeah, on your turn, you can choose one creature other than yourself within 60 feet uh, to those who can hear you. So that's one at this time, but I think later in, in later levels, I can do multiples. I can inspire my sphincter to open involuntarily. 26 extra, your attack next time. my bowels. My turn? Disgusting. I wear a robe, so if that happens, it's cool. I'm going to shoot the big fat fucker in the cape. Sorry, kids. <laughs> and there win our, uh, our, our young audience. <laughs> So okay. we're at PG thirteen now. You got one F bomb. You got one F bomb. Eleven. <laughs> no, it misses. Okay, that's my turn. Way to blow a goat. <sighs> All right, I'm going to stabby stabby this butthole right here. <laughs> How does flanking work? Oh, if they're rogues. Eighteen hit. Eighteen hits. Five points of damage. Oh. You gone? No. How come that first one was gone? Because Shannon hit him. Oh, good point. Yep. Nicely done! <laughs> Armida. I can only hit the first time, though. The rest is up to you. <laughs> kind of surrounded now. <laughs> yeah, you are. I'm going to take my second action and kick him in the head. 21. Yeah, he's dead. Knock him down. Uh, oh my god, that kick actually worked. Uh. Me? I got my two counter. actions. Arms up. Every time? Yep. Short bow to the guy in the cape. I miss. Okay, Zahara. You are up. Okay. What are you going to do? I'm going to... I don't want to get any closer, so I'm Just going... don't hit me. I will. I'm going to do the guiding bolt again. Very well. Does that hurt us? It doesn't say it does. No, I was kidding. <laughs> well, plus she's got a direct line of sight to... Whatever that dude is by you. And she has bardic inspiration, should she need it. 22. Oh, yeah. Well done. Remember, 2d6. No, for, that, the damage. for damage is 4d6 on the guiding bolt. Is it? That's what it said on the writing. Nice. What level is guiding bolt? Hopefully it's a level 1. Uh, I, have that <laughs> I, I, have, I have dice here if you need them. Uh, level... It, Level one, yeah, that is a level one evocation. <laughs> yeah, on on a hit, the target takes four d six radiant damage. You fried that bastard. Knock one down. And 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 if the, if the creature survives this, anyone else who attacks that target gains advantage uh, until the end until her next turn. Because he's sticking out like a uh, firefly in a, in a dark cave. So he is lit up, and dead. Oh. <laughs> and she's out of spells. <laughs> it smells yeah. like flesh. So I run out of spells. Yeah. Until until we've had a chance to rest. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. Forever. No. Yeah. Bored. I hope you enjoyed those spells because you'll never get them again. Never. <laughs> what was that spell called? Uh, guiding uh, guiding bolt. Because these DMs never gonna let us rest. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Just as you're all about to settle down and get a rest, suddenly you are ambushed! Ha ha ha! And at the end of that fight, alright, let's try to rest. But then Guiding. you are ambushed again! Ha ha ha! Guiding Bolt has a casting time of one action, a range of 120 feet. The components are verbal and somatic, and the duration is one round. Well done, my Zahara. I knew you had it in you. And she still has the inspiration in her back pocket. Does she, she talk with that high squeaky minutes. voice? Now, huh? Big old, big old. Orc, and she's like, thanks. Thank you. 
the goblin that's in the gray uh-huh. right there by the fire. Yep. He's going to run gonna through run. the fire and catch himself on fire. He's going to run up to you and draw a scimitar. Uh oh. 16? Yes. 8 damage. Alright, somebody got a healing spell? Somebody just You're passed out. Totally down. Let's find out what happens when you get reduced to below zero hit points. This is actually, I, I would like to know this very much, as I do not know how this well, works. Well, we're about to find out. I knew that. I, I read all the rules before we made, while we were making characters, and now it's been weeks and I, I forgot them all, so. So, uh, what you're saying is, for a beginner's podcast, we are all now in a moment of learning. Yep. This is exactly what this podcast is for. Dropping to zero hit points. When you drop to zero hit points, you either die outright or fall unconscious, as explained in the following sections. Instant death. Massive damage can kill you instantly. When damage reduces you to zero hit points, and there is damage remaining, if you die... You die Looks like if I'm gonna get my fighter involved. Equals or exceeds your hit point maximum. So, what is your total hit points? Thirteen. Your hit points are thirteen. And what are you at now? Negative what? Two. Negative two. Oh, I'm at two. Oh well, you didn't fall down yet. Oh, you're no. fine. I'm fine. If right it's now. zero. Yeah, I'm at two. All right. How many hit points? Thirteen. That's a lot. I have eleven. Oh, see, I'm I I have eleven. Oh, didn't I just hit you for eight, and you had eight here? You hit, well, you hit me for five. You hit me for five. I had a six plus two. Eight. <laughs> What's, what two? You rely on your defense. Plus two. Balance. Screw you! Ow. So he has actually had zero. If damage reduces you to zero hit points and fails to kill you, you fall unconscious. See Appendix A. Yeah, see? Fall this over. unconsciousness ends if you regain any hit points. Does anybody have the skill... Oh, wait. Somebody I, does, I but she's to, unconscious. I happen what? to have a Why healing word spell in my back We'll pocket. worry about that in a bit. I have second win, but I think that's only on self, right? That's now, for you. Yeah. next turn, when you start your turn with zero hit points, then we got to start rolling death saving throws. So you're dead? Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, he's just not unconscious. Yet. He is. Not dead. He will be back. It's on his I, feet. I was it's the hard. bravest one of all of us and ran right in. You guys were like, oh, "I'm gonna stand out here." That's the bravest one. Hmm. I don't know about. <laughs> I on have the a healer's the kit. One. Huh? Healer's kit. Brave. <laughs> brave, brave, Sir uh, Robin. Remember? Anyway, he ran away. I did not. <laughs> like I Turned his, tucked his tail and fled. No, I didn't. <laughs> So we're going to move uh, the guy with, uh, yeah, that one. Mm-hmm. Move him up to whoever's the next one up there. That one, yep. All we'll right. Go with me. So 25 damage. 25 to hit. All right. Let's get into some weird shit. Mm-hmm. I'm going to use my lucky feet. Feet as in I have three, your I feet can three or times <laughs> per long rest. You re-roll an attack roll, ability check, saving throw, or attack roll against me and choose the... Uh, best result to me. So I'll roll a dice. Fuck. So we're gonna go with your attack roll because I rolled a natural twenty. Seven damage. And I am unconscious. Let's move. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Right there. Perfect. Twenty to hit. Party wipe. <laughs> yes. Incoming. Game <laughs> over. If only I would have been able to hide. Four damage. Okay. And that is it. They did say that this is entirely unfair, this first scenario. That a lot of people get wiped out right away. Who's they in the book? No, like every reviewer oh. of this thing has said that it is completely unfair. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people get killed before they even enter the cave. <laughs> so we're... We made it in the cave. You made it in the cave. Sort of. How many guys are left? Three? Three. <sighs> and I am done. So. So how long is a rest? Like overnight? No. Like four hours is a short rest, and eight hours is a long rest. So how long is time? Or is it an much? hour? Is an hour a short rest? Yeah, I don't remember. See, I don't, can, yeah, four hours sounds extreme. We I better think, take care of that like once hour. we get to that juncture. Yeah. Yeah. Now is not the time to worry. Yeah. Next round. Let's go ahead and uh, save for death. So whenever you start your turn with zero hit points, you must make a special saving throw called a death saving throw. Not starting yet. 
to determine whether you creep closer to death or hang on to life. Unlike other saving throws, this one isn't tied to any ability score. You're in the hands of fate now, aided only by spells and the features that improve your chances of succeeding on a saving throw. Makes a lot of sense. Roll a d20. If the roll is 10 or higher, you succeed. Otherwise, you fail. A success or failure has no effect by itself. On your third success, you become stable. See below. On your third failure, you die. So, stable creature doesn't make death saving throws, even though it has zero points, but it uh, is still unconscious. Again, pretty hard to die unless you take a buttload of damage. Especially at lower levels, for the most part. So, this will be uh, spell number two for me. Alright. You probably have two spell slots. Which means you can cast two first level spells at this point. I'll check. Yeah, I think you're right. So I can't do first level spells. Not first level. Not you could do cantrips. What's that? Zero level spells. Oh, okay. They would say cantrip on them. You do. You do. You, yeah, you, you'd you probably them. have three of them. Do you have a book? Oh, yeah. Turn to page... Um, Page 207 is the list of cantrips. I don't know which ones you have or not, but those are the cantrips. You could look at them and then compare them to see if you have them on your sheet. Which, actually, now that you bring it up, it uh, looks like, yeah, my healing word is one of my cantrips. So it does not count against my spell total is what you're telling me. Right, cantrips you can cast cantrips as many right. times as you want in a Perfect. day. You do have two first-level spell slots, so you could cast two first-level spells. So healing word... Yeah, healing word I believe is one of my uh, one of my cantrips. If I was reading it right, but you can cast light in the dark cave. Oh, I can. Healing word is a first level spell, so not not, not a cantrip. Good to know. But, but can I do that? Then this will count to my okay. Yeah, bardic inspiration would not be. Would that be a cantrip then? You have something called mending as a cantrip, if you have it, which I do not. But I uh, now I know what to take next though. I will allow you to Page use leather work to patch him up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> what? I said I will allow you to use leather work to patch him up. <laughs> Would you like to use my taxidermy skill, please? <laughs> All right. So, uh, just making sure we're fo we're following here. Now that I know that cantrips are zero level things, I will do more of those in the future. Or try to pay more attention, because I did not. Because these are amending, will probably be like one of those ones I will take. Uh, and dancing lights will not help my either of my friends at this point, so I will use one of my spells to cast healing words upon my uh, upon our fallen monk. Okay. Now, one of the interesting things is healing words is one bonus action, so it's not a full action. So you could actually do two actions in really? this case. With spells, but I probably couldn't like cast it twice once for each of you, could I? No, you can't bonus, do two bonus actions. Only bonus, one bonus gotcha. action. Um, oh, casting time, one bonus action. That's what that means. I, I see, we're learning now, everyone. So, bonus actions. Various class features, spells, and other abilities let you take an additional action on your turn called bonus actions. So, the monk has that kick attack as a bonus action. Um... Hmm. The cunning action feature, for example, allows a rogue to take a bonus action. You can take a bonus action only when a special ability, spell, or other feature of the game states you can do that. Uh, do something as a bonus action, otherwise you don't have bonus actions to take. You can take only one bonus action on your turn, so you must choose which bonus action to use when you have more than one available. You choose, uh, you choose when to take the bonus action during your turn unless the bonus action's timing isn't specified and anything that deprives you of your ability to take actions also prevents you from doing bonus actions. Um, well, we're learning now. So you still have a regular action. That you could take. Well, so, as it just so happens, one of these, uh, one of these creatures has moved into, my, into the advantage uh, region of my crossbow. I would imagine I will fire both a crossbow and speak uh, healing words of courageous action and healing to uh, to help get my monk friend back on his feet. Sounds like a plan. 
And it doesn't look like I necessarily have to roll to uh, do healing words. I just it looks like I I just heal one d four plus my spell casting ability modifier by the looks of it. Yes, it's an automatic uh, thing. So my I will get the bonus action out of the way to get my monk friend back on his feet. What a load and of shit! It is. Well, he had fallen first, so I already had him in mind when I started. All right, so it's one d four plus your spell casting ability modifier, and since charisma is what my spell casting is under, it'll be plus five. Uh, he has been healed uh, seven uh, seven points. That should get him back on his feet and fighting with uh, with plenty of target rich environment uh, situation all around him. Thanks, man. So once he's on his feet now, I must fire my crossbow. And may uh, may may my precision serve me better than my last attack. Uh, the one I think he is the one. He's the only one within range. So by default, he is the one I will fire at. And I roll a natural three altogether, making an eight. Nope. Unfortunately, nope. Well, at least my friend is back on his feet and should be quite angry. My turn. I'm gonna try a crossbow again to the caped guy in front of me. Twelve, I think that's a miss. <laughs> Worthless. I'm going to stabby stabby this red haired person here. How'd you become alive again? Steve healed me. Oh. I am a bard of the healing words. Real quick, could I use a healer's kit, but that's my turn. Okay. You know what? Yeah. It would probably take you six seconds to drink that and find it in your well, pack. Well, I mean, if I wanted to use it. Because it says oh. yeah. this kit is a leather pouch containing bandages, salves, and splints. It has ten uses. As an action, you can expend one use of the kit to stabilize a creature that has zero hit points without needing to make a wisdom or medicine check. Yeah, it's true. It, it's it true. won't bring you back, though. It'll just stabilize you. You'll remain down. It just means it doesn't have to do the rolls. You probably don't oh. have to worry about it until I get close to die. Okay. Yeah. In this case, it just you're better off using your combat, probably. Okay. Well, since that's yeah. going so well for me. <laughs> 19 to hit. Four points of damage. And I'm going to kick him. Yeah, I will. 23 to hit. Yup. Six points of damage. Knock him down. Get in there. Yeah, we are. All right, luck finger. I failed my first death saving throw. Oh no. <laughs> now that is where you would use the thing on him, so he doesn't have to do this again. Like, well, he's got three, right? Yeah, you get three. All right. All right, I'm going to actually run up and hit. Okay. So you can run up six squares. And then strength or what? You have proficiency with the the club, right, or whatever you're using. So that gives you your proficiency bonus plus your strength modifier. Not talking my language. Oh, that's. This is why we're all learning. Do you have Spare the Dying? Uh-oh. Here. Yeah, I am looking at her stuff with her, and I am not seeing Spare the Dying either. She has Cure Wounds. She's got Strength Modifier plus two. It's a uh, first plus level four. spell. She's yeah, spell. but I think she's used her spells for now. Plus four. Okay. So. 22. What? Okay, so give me some damage. And so you're going to use that part where it says mace, and it's going to say some blah, 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 1D, blah. 1D6 plus 2 bludgeoning. Okay. 8. Knock his ass down. (laughs) Alright, so that guy, the last remaining one, is going to grab wherever that human was. And start backing him way himself up to. There's a there's a little another cave that comes up, 
and he's slowly backing up, just grabbing the, the human body and just as a shield and walking up backwards. Okay. How do call, called shots work? Can I try and shoot him in the head? I don't know if there are called shots. Granted, I'm too far away right <laughs> now. You can still see me, because you're... You have dark vision too, right? Okay, good. So you can still see me. That's his turn. Please, don't kill me. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Stop running. You killed all my friends. Kinda deserved it. Why? You, this you're is willing house. to let the... You just came into my house and started <laughs> yeah. killing my family. Yeah, like, willing yeah. to let the wolves live, but you just start murdering these <laughs> poor goblins. <laughs> What do you have against goblins? You have a, one of our human friends. I tried to talk to your you... friends outside, and God, they said that awake. you they said that you were hired and wouldn't talk to us, and so we figured that you guys would be the same. Well, you could ask. Will you talk to us? <laughs> I'm trying to, but you shot us all. <laughs> who who is? Do we recognize the human? I'll who's go ahead and make another saving throw roll. <laughs> I made it! Yay! You might Woo! want to stabilize him. Uh, so yeah, I would I would take my next action resurrecting my. Uh, well, somebody should try to resurrect. Uh, well, not resurrect, but help our friend well, recuperate. Didn't recover. that just stabilize you? I guess I don't understand it the difference. It just stabilizes me, so I don't have to roll the die. <laughs> but you, you have, have to... to keep rolling until someone resurrects you. I have heals to keep you? rolling until either I get three successes or three failures. But if you do the okay. healing kit on him, he doesn't have to do that anymore. Okay. Well, uh, since it sounds like I have to be the silver-tongued bard of the group, I was perhaps we did act in uh, you know, in in haste. But in our defense, we just uh, fought short <laughs> kind moments earlier, and we yeah you know, we were we you know we it, it made us a little a little itchy on the trigger fingers, and for that, I will apologize. Uh, but, oh, you want to apologize, my family that you killed? Hey, I have an idea. My poor little brother. I have an idea. What? We, we can resurrect your family if you talk to us. Can I roll a deception? Yes. <laughs> that sounds awfully hard to do. Natural 20. 21. We have spells and we have potions that we can make. Pop. So we can bring your family back to life. You just need to help us. Please practice on this night. And he drops the body in front of you. He's dead? He said he was bruised and bloody. That you saw. I didn't say you could tell that he was alive. He smells. That's mm. not the deal, little cute goblin guy. We have to. You have to help us, and then we'll help you. Sounds like a great idea. What are we going to do? I thought you said you'd tell us everything. I, yeah. Tell what do you want to know? Tell us everything. Uh, do you have two Start at the beginning. humans in here that you captured on the road? Here's one of them. Uh. And what of the other? You said he wasn't familiar. You've never met him. You've never met Aww. Sildar Hall Winter. Why why did you capture and torture and kill them? How do you know we did it? Well, if you could give uh, us a straight answer. You kind of have the body. Very well, then explain to us how did you come to have the knight in your possession? He's covered in shiny bits, and we wanted to get that shiny bits off of him. So you found him already perished, is what you're telling us. I wouldn't say that. I see. So you finished him off? Yeah, the nine! <laughs> <laughs> I don't recognize Schnell! your accent. Schnell! <laughs> Schnell! Yeah, we killed him. It's fine. Uh, I'll, I'll let you guys know. Yeah, fine. we we killed we killed, we so, killed all of them. So it's fine that we killed your family too, you jerk. <laughs> but th I have to do this, or the my boss will kill me. What is your excuse? You're an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Who's your boss? His name is Clark. Is there a? In He's a big bugbear. Question to uh, GM or, or DM in this case: Is that a name that we should be rolling under to see if you recognize it, or how does that work? We you, just we just now pick up Clark. No, yeah, you no, would, no skill to make that might help with. You that. wouldn't know. Got um, it. you guys are from way out of country. Gotcha. We right? we are not locals. That that makes more sense. Right. So, 
He's... Bug bears are and ugly. Tell us, Sal, where can we find these Clark? He's here. Probably watching me right now. Hmm. Would you like us to put you out of your misery so he doesn't torture you first? Yeah. Um, you don't know what he's going to do to me if he finds out that I talked to you guys. My you sweet, mean? sweet bunghole. Ah! I do not believe that was in your uh, your your starter kit. Uh, <laughs> it says it right here. Bungholes. The large cave called his bunghole. Well, I will uh, hold my short sword up to his neck. And anybody else have any other questions? In the uh, you know, in the interest of fair play, he uh, he did reason and speak with us in the end. Uh, you know, perhaps no more bloodshed needs to be given to this one. He did it out of fear, and I'm afraid he's going to go to his boss and warn him that we're coming. Plus, he killed our friend. And we can't he's asking us to kill him. We can't leave him alive. No. Well, my friend, unless could, you can... I, 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 well, yeah, I, I could uh, lead you to the dwarf. Say, my um, friend, unless... I thought you said he was a bugbear. I should... Your friend. Yeah, he, no, he, my friend. The, the dwarf... He's referring to our friend. Oh, not the, I'm not my a very friend. bright monk. I should probably retcon the uh, ready to slash his throat because I am neutral good. So <laughs> I probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> well, I mean, you can you can make blank threats with it. I mean, or empty threats in doing so. It doesn't mean you were going to see it through. I could take you yeah. to your dwarf friend. He's not here. How do we then know it's my not friend, a trap? You don't. Why would his face lie to you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Probably. You're a really honest goblin. <laughs> she rolled a Fe- twenty. Fear is an excellent motivator. She rolled a twenty-two. I only but, rolled that on deception. I wasn't intimidating him. Still. And still the same thing. Well, okay, and you keep mentioning the fire, so I want to look around the fire and see if I see anything. That's a good point. I was about to bring up maybe a searching remains and and uh, and and maybe there's something. And now now that the action is over, I'm assuming we can take a look about, as it were. Okay. Investigate or perception? Um, somebody want to give me a perception check? What somebody want to give me an investigate check? Investigating. Put it that way. Tell them what you're investigating. Well, I was going invest- to investigate the ground around the fire and see if I could... Give me a perception check first. Okay. And then I'll tell you if you find what I'm thinking about. 22. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> There's no heat coming from this fire. Whoa. Can I stick my hand in it? Yes. I certainly can. Look, guys, look. It's not burning me. That's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is so cool. Makes me want to dance around like little girl. Is it a portal? Oh, we're popping. Is there a portal or something in this fire? Just if you would give me a investigate check, that's good enough. Nine plus three is twelve. Yeah, we have a uh, we we happen to have a uh, acolyte. Who, uh, if if that twelve is wavering, perhaps she could be of service. Give it a shot. Roll. I'm just gonna and keep sticking my hand on the fire and in and out like the hokey pokey. That is so cool, Fraulein. <laughs> I believe you have a plus one to that. And it's a nine. It's a nine. Nine is a no. <laughs> she happens to also have a bardic inspiration still backing her up, so uh, perhaps she could roll a d6 to add to that. This, this sounds important. Fifteen. This the, seems important somehow. The rope. There's one. There's one log that has a string of rope leading down from it. Hmm. Like the rest of them just look like logs, but this one has a string, like a string coming off the bottom of it. A string or a rope. Whatever. A rope. Well. No, there's no whatever. It's well, a string or it's a rope. Well, for me right now, <laughs> it's a rope. Just, there's a difference. One you can climb on, one you can't. Okay, fine. Whatever. <laughs> wow. It's hot in here. It is hot in here. <laughs> it's comfortable. No, it's not. Oh, no, it's hot. It's, <laughs> so, it's like doing hot yoga in here. Does someone want to dispatch the goblin thing so we're not it, followed? 
if he is willing to lead us, even if it's out of fear, to uh, does this Clark individual, uh, you know, we, we have an advantage of a guide. Then I want to tie him up like a leash, like a dog leash. Hmm. I certainly am not opposed to bondage myself. He's going to be our pet. What say you, my uh, my fellow gnome friend? You have been uh, you've been quiet as you recuperate. He's dead. That's because I'm not fucking conscious. <laughs> oh, I thought. Uh, oh, I, I I misunderstood that. I thought well, she we had revived you. PG thirteen. I really thought you were revived. It does stop me from bleeding to death? Oh well, but not. Uh, I'm I assuming got nothing then that can heal if, you though. If she's uh, if nobody she's... does. Spells have been expended. We got to wait eight hours. Well, I think Sorry. maybe <laughs> maybe we should tie this dude up, and then we can take an uh, extended rest around this fire, so we can gain back. Get warm around the, and help the re- fake and help fire. us revive our gnome friend. I I like where your head is at. I agree. Sounds like a good plan to me. It seems we could all use a rest and patching up our wounds and help revive our uh, our fallen friend. And as you had mentioned, you know, at least tying a uh, you know a rope or something to keep our friend in line, but still make him, still allow him to be helpful to do us. Do you guys have a rope? I do. You're dead. <laughs> Whoa! Pull. What? Should I pull the ro- <laughs> the log up? Yes. Yes. Okay, I will do that. I was more concerned with the health of our friend. I'm sorry. I, know. I was just pull it log, pull it log. But me. <laughs> I, I understood where you were going with it, but my concern was with him. No, I know. <laughs> I would let somebody else take that 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 moment. I'm t- I'm pulling the log. Yes, As you I'm are, dropping my friend. A log, dropping a log. Oh, that's impressive. Uh, the log's bigger than me. A piece of the wall slides three feet to ah. the right. Ooh. A secret passageway. Plot thickens. I have uh, heard many a tale of uh, including secret entrances. But before we press on, perhaps we should take this moment to rest and help our friend revive. I want to tie up the dude, so do I need to roll on that? No. He, he's fine. He'll let you do it. <laughs> you, let no you, let you, you let him live. You let him live. He lift. likes being tied up. Are you comfortable? Hmm. Why do you care? So, uh, see here, DM, it sounds like we are resting, reviving, we know where we need All to right, go next. so, let's talk about resting. Ah, we have a few minutes left, we can learn of resting and call an episode. Yes, I think that's a good idea. Alright. So, if you guys want your spells back, we're going to have to rest for eight hours. <laughs> I didn't realize. We're done, we're done, guys. I didn't realize we'd have to do a whole shift. I'm going ah, to gain one hit point on my own. That's not a good idea, guys. After one hour. I'm pretty sure somebody knows you're here. I just want my hit points back. That's all I want, too. You could do a short rest for one hour and get some of your hit points back. I don't think that's a good idea either, guys. How are we going to bring you back, though? Are we just going to go throw your body outside? and hope Throw him in the water and he'll wake up. See, I would not venture on without him. I could throw him over See you later, butt finger. We're out of here. Hey, Goblin, do you have any healing anything in this cave? Uh, you should probably check that door. And that's a good episode. All right, so <laughs> that is an ominous place to stop the episode. We should check the door. We will see you guys next week. So, so it's been Nick, Kirk, Arn, Shannon, Steve, Sonia. Bye. 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 Calling all murder hobos! It's that time again, Silver Company! The maker of the world's greatest silver swords brings you... Roll Die for Murder! A weekly Dungeons & Dragons adventure where five friends sit together and drink and pillage and... That's the side in their way! (laughs) (laughs) anything. Take (laughs) two. Take two. You ready to go again, Arn? Calling all murder hobos! It's that time again! Silver Company, the maker of the world's greatest silver swords, brings you Roll Die for Murder! A weekly Dungeons and Dragons adventure where five friends set together.
fucking get to fucking fuck. <laughs> get to fucking fuck. We're five okay. friends get together. They get together, together and fuckity fuck fuck fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Roll die for murder! A weekly Dungeons and Dragons adventure where five, six, where six. <laughs> Not so easy. I didn't count myself. <laughs> six. <laughs> six friends. Fucking eat. Fuck. 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 Calling all murder hobos! It's that time again! Silver Company, the maker of the world's greatest silver swords, brings you Rule Die for Murder! A weekly Dungeons and Dragons adventure where six friends get together! And. and <laughs> <laughs> we gotta do outtakes of this episode, at least. It's not easy. It isn't. Translating this page into Arnold. <laughs> Calling all murder hobos. It's that time again. Silver Company, the maker of the world's greatest silver swords, brings you Roll Die for Murder, a weekly Dungeons and Dragons adventure where six friends get... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like Is it, are you having a hard time getting it to, to flow, Arn? <laughs> Well, my chicken scratch doesn't help. This is precisely why I type and print mine.
last breath, the king is dead. With one last breath, the king is dead.